Okay. Um, well, his name is Ryan. Okay. See, I have to I... say significant other till I know. <laughs> Just because. No, to- totally cool. Um... <laughs> right, so, is, well, okay, so what's his name again? His name is Ryan. Ryan. Hey, okay. Ryan. I know he's listening right now. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> okay. So, so how long have you known Ryan? Uh, we met in January. You know, you just broke the hearts of just all kinds of people oh, listening. Oh, no. You did. They're <laughs> like, like, you hear that sound? <laughs> they're like, damn it. I thought I had a chance with her. Okay. So, Aww. so okay. How long have you known Ryan? We met in January. In January. So was it love at first sight? Um, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Now, is, is, is he a bass player? No, he's not a bass okay, player. Okay. Thank goodness. Okay. Now, is, he, is he in the business at all? No, he's not. And that's, oh, that's kind of okay. how we started talking. <laughs> so, okay. So let me ask you this. Now, are you the type of person that um, you have to be in a relationship and they have to understand that music is always going to come first? Or do you say, okay, Ryan, um, you know, I, I, I do care about you very much. And, and you know, you're going to take, you know, the front seat um, in, in front. I mean, how, how do you work that? Gosh. Um, so... He's he's a fantastic person. He really mm-hmm. is. And I know he's listening right now, but I'm just kind of going to do it on him for a minute. Uh-huh. Um, when we first started talking, it's like, how do you have that talk with someone where it's like, hey, this is my life. Like, this is what I moved to this town to do. Mm-hmm. And this is what I've done my entire life. Um, you know, how do I say this nicely that, like, things aren't exactly going to change? Like, I'm still going to be really busy and it's only going to get busier. Um, and I kind of need, you know, a co-pilot that's going to understand that and going to not try and hold me back. Um, and you know, his, the first words out of his mouth were like, you didn't move to this town to date me. Like you've got to do what you've got to do. And Mm. he is so, he's so incredibly respectful of what I do and the time and effort that I put into my work. And, you know, he has no problem with like, sitting on the couch watching TV while I sit in like my kitchen, like writing a song or doing something like weird, like writing out lyrics or like mm-hmm. if I'm in the car, like just sometimes like I'll go quiet cause I'll just kind of be thinking about lyrics or I'll like lose my train of thought cause something caught my eye. Like that's the pain of we're, of like dating a songwriter. Mm-hmm. We just, we're like, you know, like our brains are like hurting cats. So, <laughs> 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 but, um, but you know, he's, and he, he always comes out to my shows whenever he can. And he's so, so incredibly supportive. So, and it's awesome that he's not in the music business because if he was, I would feel very like judged or almost competitive a little bit. Mm-hmm. And like, that's, it's like a natural thing. I just like, you know, when you have two people that are both artists, like you don't want, you don't want conflict of interest. Sure. And so I just kind of wanted someone that was, you know, going to be an amazing friend and, you know, really supportive and, you know, enjoy my music with me. So, and he does all those things. Well, it's and he sends he, me pictures quite. of puppies too. So it's awesome. <laughs> That's what did it. It's the puppies. <laughs> it's the puppies. Uh, yep. <laughs> so you wouldn't, you wouldn't be the same person if you, if you put him in the front seat. Uh, so you wouldn't be the, the girl he fell, fell for in the first place. Exactly. Like, I feel like part of the reason why he liked me was because I'm like, I don't know. Kind of Lacey kinda, Caroline. Kinda out, kinda, I feel like I'd be a different person. Exactly. You're, you're kind of out there, so. right? Oh, yeah, yeah totally. I'm super yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got some comments going on. Um, let's see. Tony said that would be incredible. I'm not sure what he's talking about there. Um, now, Martin said that, uh, that uh, the song would be movie worthy, meaning he could hear it uh, like in a movie. Oh, that's awesome. I yeah. actually just had a song in a movie, too, so maybe no we can way. get another one. You had one in a movie? Yeah. How cool is that? It was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, also, uh, there, here's another uh, uh, comment in the chat. Even if you can't relate to Lacey's songs, you can feel them. Oh, thank you, Zach. Yeah, that's that so was, sweet. That was really nice. Um, okay. Now I, okay. Now this is an important question. I'm going to ask you this one before we play the next song. Okay. Uh, so you might want to sit down and take a deep breath. All right. Hold on. Wait. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay. That was a good deep, that was a good deep breath. <laughs> Thank you. Really? Now, if you could have any superhero power, what would that power be? To fly. Now, why would you want to fly? Like, where would you go? Oh man, I would go everywhere. I mean, like, I think, I don't know. Like totally, <laughs> you just want to be like, "Hey, look at me! I'm cool. I'm flying." <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> isn't it not like 
like the one thing that like humans will never be able to do is just physically just like fly just like Peter mm-hmm. Pan style. Right. Uh, that that would be cool. Yeah, it'd be so cool. It would cool. be cool. But you, you could use it, I guess, during your stage performance, too. I mean, it'd be kind of cool if you just flew in. Oh, that would be neat. Yeah. So, I mean, if you work on that. I, I will. I will. I'll, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll start working on my ups. <laughs> what is, uh, what's What's Runaway about? Oh, man. Okay. So, Runaway has a funny story behind it. Um, so, I'm originally from New Jersey, born and raised my entire life. And I'm from, like, the sticks, like, in the middle of nowhere, lots and lots of trees and woods. Mm-hmm. And we got hit by Hurricane Katrina. Or not Hurricane, Hurricane Sandy. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Uh-huh. Hurricane Sandy. And I wrote Runaway the night that the hurricane really hit hard. And... I essentially was just sitting in my room trying to distract myself from the trees that were like beating up against the side of the house. And I live on the, I like, my room is on the very corner of the house. Mm -hmm. And I was right next to like just a ton of trees. And like, there was like a serious fear in my mind of like, I hope a tree doesn't come through my window right now. Mm -hmm. So Uh, that's scary. Yeah, it it was pretty terrifying. And uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to think about it. And I sat down. I started playing like very like bright, happy chords. And it sort of evolved into I'm like, I'm going to write a song that is completely out of this place right now. And so when I started writing Runaway, I thought about this, about (laughs) my uh, date to senior prom. Or not senior prom, winter formal in high school. Mm -hmm. And he had this really ugly red Jeep that he picked me up in and uh, I started thinking about that. And so I started writing this song called Runaway. And essentially it, came, it was me running away from being in that hurricane at the moment. Mm. And so I wanted to write a really happy, pretty sounding song that just made me feel like I wasn't in the middle of a hurricane. So it so, kind of saved you from the moment. Oh, definitely. All right. So Runaway, Lacey Caroline on the Chris Top program. with watering eyes You say you're not sure that you're able to be the strength I need inside So I go and I retreat to our room trying hard to find a way To keep the years from falling apart Anything to make you say Open up a drawer Find a picture of us from when we were just in
That's the Hurricane Safety song, Runaway, Lacey <laughs> Caroline, right here on the Chris Top program. Now, I do want to, uh, this is my advisory uh, for everybody. Now, if you support Lacey and you love her music, uh, then this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to iTunes and I want you to buy it. Uh, now, we know that there are all kinds of uh, things that you can get out there, all kinds of software where you can download stuff um, for free. But another word for free in that case is illegal. Uh, and I don't want you to do that. I want you to support her because if you don't, if you don't pay for these things, then she can't write any more music. So... Uh, it's it's it doesn't work like that. Not to mention if you if you steal the music, uh, Tony and Ashton, Zach and um, Lacey and myself will will find you. <laughs> we we will find you for sure. Uh, now, are there links to your iTunes from your website? Um, yes, from the website there are. Um, I believe not from my Twitter. I should probably like get on posting all that stuff. Um, <laughs> but I know it's in, um, I know it's on my Facebook page and I do believe it's on my, I know it's on my website too. I think I just have to add it to my Twitter. Okay. Um, I try not to overwhelm people with like, Hey, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. <laughs> I'll but, do um, it for you. Don't worry. <laughs> well, thank we you. It. I'll let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, if, if people, uh, what is your website? Like, how, what is that? Uh, LaceyCaroline.com. LaceyCaroline.com. And yeah. Okay. So, so they can go there and they, but there are links to your Twitter and your Facebook and, and everything. Yeah. And I mean, I'm the easiest person to find on the internet. Um, you just got to Google Lacey Caroline and so much stuff comes up. So it's like, you'll have my Facebook right there. You'll have my Twitter right there. My regular website, probably some fake like websites. I don't know. I've like found like fake, uh, Tumblr accounts mm -hmm. all the time. Uh. Those are funny. Those are funny <laughs> to read. <laughs> like, like, I don't remember writing that. <laughs> right. Uh, now, uh, Martin says he wants you to come in and, uh, find him. He'd love to see you live. Um, Oh gosh, of course. <laughs> Tracy or uh, not Tracy. Tony says, um, which supports you the best, uh, iTunes or Bandcamp? Um, I'd say Bandcamp. Well, buying from me um, because that helps me move some uh, the the hard copies of the CDs. Mm -hmm. But um, especially at a show, if you if you ever can come to come out to a show, um, especially around Nashville, like I always have CDs on me, and that's always super super productive. But um, I mean, Bandcamp, iTunes, like just buying it in general supports me. Um, it's funny because like going into you know about to make the CD or this new EP, it's like, you, that's when you really realize like how much money it would help if people were to buy the music and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, I think people assume it gets overlooked just because like the big stars and like the big artists aren't making that much money off CD sales as they, as they are like through concerts and touring, but for other artists, like CD sales help so much. Sure. It's all we've got, you know? <laughs> so. Absolutely. And who wouldn't want to support you? Uh, I mean, you, you do such a great job and I can tell you're really passionate about, uh, about this. And I, I can't think of too many people.